الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله Think about the times that we live in and reflect upon this athar of the Salaf. In a narration, uh, and it was reported that Al Fudail ibn Iyad, Rahmatullah, Rahmatin Wasi'ah, that he said, <clears throat> and he was talking about the strangeness. that would come upon the people. So this is in the time of the Salaf of this Ummah. He said, How will you be if you reach a time when you see people who do not distinguish truth from falsehood, believer from unbeliever, trustworthy from treacherous, nor ignorant from knowledgeable, and neither recognize what is right nor censor what is wrong. And this is collected as a statement <clears throat> in Ibn Batta's Al-Ibanat Al-Kubra. Imam Ibn Batta, he, he commented on this narration of Fudail. And he said, To Allah we belong, and to Him we shall return. We have reached that time. And he died in 387 Hijri. 1100 years ago, almost. We've heard this and have come to know most of it and witnessed it. If a man to whom Allah has bestowed sound reasoning looks and thinks carefully and ponders the matter of Islam and its people and treads the rightly guided path as regards to them, it will become clear to him that most people have turned their back on their heels or have turned back on their heels, deviated from the correct path, turned away from the correct proof. Many people have started to like what they used to hate, allow what they used to forbid and recognize what they used to reject, meaning to acknowledge what they used to uh, negate. or accept. And for sure, Allah have mercy upon you. Rahimakullah. This is not the character of the Muslims, nor the behavior of those who have insight into this religion, and neither of those who believe in it and are certain about it. Ahabatifillah, subhanallah wa bihamdihi, subhanallah al-azim. Look at this narration. of our Salaf al-Salih, Ridwan Allahi alayhim. And look at how Ibn Batta, Imam Ibn Batta, he made these observations during his time, 1100 years ago, or a thousand something years ago. A thousand something years ago, subhanAllah, can you imagine that? We look at 20 years as something strange, and how things have changed. A thousand years ago? Can you imagine? He was making those observations that, the, that many of the people <clears throat> had become deviant. <clears throat> many of the people, instead of commanding the good, they were forbidding the good and commanding the evil. Many of the people accepted bid'ah and loved bid'ah. Few people calling to the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and practicing it and not changing their minhaj and their madhab. Subhanallah, what about now? 
SubhanAllah, when we look at the reality of our situation, when we get outside of the bubble that many of us have lived, and we see how strange Islam is, how strange the Sunnah of the Prophet wasallam is, how strange it is, people don't even care. So many Muslims, and I'm not lying, this is not an exaggeration, this is not a kutub, kutub statement, but so many people are so far from their deen. If you command them to the good, they don't give a dang about good. If you forbid them from evil, they surely don't want to hear anything you have to say. All they care. Let's, let's look at social media, Habitabillah. Look at how many Muslims, even sisters that are practicing. How many of them wear proper hijab? And how many of them? One minute has niqab, the next thing you see, she's showing every bit of her beauty. And literally, this might be day by day. <coughs> We're not saying that she left or she got weak, but no. She wears a niqab for certain occasions. And she wears makeup outwardly on social media and all kind of things and uses the most foul language on other occasions. This is the same person. You would think perhaps these people have schizophrenia. I know all of us have shortcomings. We all make mistakes. Prophet ﷺ said, Kul ibn Adam, khatta wa khayra khatayina tawabun. All the children of Adam, they commit sins or they make mistakes with the best of those who, are, those who repent. But look at how much we differ in one day. And how many people, they love bid'ah. They don't even know because they can't tell sunnah from bid'ah. I know so many brothers that are on the sunnah. But they don't even know any important tafsilat of who to listen to. They still listen to grave mubtadi'a. Mubtadi'a that are very, very deviant. That call people to doubt about the authenticity of the Quran. They call people to uh, any minhaj. Just choose one. Pick and choose one. It's okay. Naksha Bundy, Dio Bundy, any other Bundy, Al Bundy perhaps, any Akhida you want, just choose it. Or Afidi, you know, it's okay. SubhanAllah, who would say such a, such a thing? Except someone who is just totally deviated from the principles of Ittaqada Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. All the principles and precepts of Ahl Sunnah. And then there's Kathra, how many du'at that sh love these people, will defend these people. Oh. His bid'ah is only like this. Oh, it's it's okay, he's a mubtadiya. Oh, you know, it's only so much bid'ah. Or, no, it's not bid'ah. They'll make tat wheel for every single innovation that these people try to invent in the religion. It's great to have husn al for someone. We have him in deen Allah. But when you see someone whose usul is moving away from the madhab of the salaf, and whose soul has moved away from the Madhab of the Salaf. We said moving, and then we said moved. Those are two different aspects of language. One is the past, the simple past, meaning it's already taken place, and one is in progress, the, 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 uh, the progressive, forgot. Anyhow, which means it's a continuous or it's something in progress up until now. That means they've been deviating in the past up until now. But if you speak about them, Ahl Bidah, so many people who are learned men, learned men who learned the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu sat with Ulama Sunnah. I guess they think it's from some sort of weird, strange wisdom to never speak about Mubtadiyah. And I guess it's, it's, it must be some new kind of insight and new madhab and way of modern thinking. Or we don't need to deal with those issues at all. What, and what kind of social issues are going to save the Ummah? If people are in sin and they've accepted sin and they're leaving Islam, how to be Yadillah? All you can do, because Hidayah is of two types. Hidayah to Tawfiq, well, hidayah to irshad, kama qala al ulama. Hidayah, habitifillah, the hidayah, the guidance of irshad is meaning you show, you're going to show the youth 
but you're not going to be able to save everyone. You're going to call them. You're going to share with them. You're going to take them camping. You're going to do activities with them. You're going to try to encourage them to come back to their religion, but ultimately it's going to be their decision. If they get killed in a gang, there's nothing you can do. Had them in Tofikilah. You did not. They, that was not your responsibility. You strived, you strove your utmost to save them, to give them guidance. But if we focus only on that, and we leave off other important matters of the deen, of teaching the people the correct aqidah, because how, you know, bid'ah is so dangerous. We don't, I don't know why people don't understand that. Bid'ah means you are deviating in the religion of Allah. You've deviated from the path of Allah. When the surati mustaqimin fattabiyu wa la tabiyu subun. Verily, this is my path. It's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's path. It's not your path to play with and say, no, I'm not going to talk about the Mubtadiyah. No, I'm going to sit with the Mubtadiyah. No, I'm going to dance with the Mubtadiyah around the graves. No, I'm going to do... It's not your... It's really not your shen. It's not your your uh, affair. Nor do you have that right. Because the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a habba ilayna. It's more beloved to us. And it has more right over you. I'm not saying you don't have hikmah. I'm not saying you don't have wisdom. I'm not saying that you shouldn't, that you should rush to make tabdiyah with tafsik with takfir. But some things become so clear and so self-evident. But some people, they still want to defend people who are innovators. Meaning they've now totally reassessed their aqidah and they've come up with a new aqidah. And a new Messiah al-minhajiyah will lem yasbakum ahad. No one preceded them with that bid'ah. So we live in a strange time, Ahabatifillah. And it shows us the importance of clinging on to the book and the sunnah. And the madhab of the salaf. We ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses us to be upon that until we die. And protects us from evil. And kufr and shirk <coughs> and bid'ah. And from changing to anything less than that which is khair. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.